Hey everyone, greetings from Central California. I'm up at the St. Cosmos Homeschool Conference, uh, giving a couple talks and being greatly edified by uh, the many wonderful adults and kids and teachers and professors who are gathered here uh, teaching and uh, encouraging homeschooling. I'm dedicating this uh, brief reflection to uh, a request, a request that you pray for uh, David Delighton. If you don't know who David is, um, then just look up uh, the Center for Medical Progress and find out about the life of this incredible young man and what he's been doing for uh, our country in these last four years. David uh, led uh, a group of undercover journalists in an expose of the extremely dark and illegal uh, black market trade that Planned Parenthood and affiliates uh, have been engaged with um, selling aborted baby parts and even baby parts of babies who were never aborted in the first place uh, or were born alive and then killed. Just absolutely tragic. His exposés were professionally done in a long uh, tradition of undercover journalism. But, of course, he's touched the sacred cow of secular life, the true sacrament, so to speak, of uh, atheistic and secular life, which is abortion. And abortion has uh, such a prominence today uh, in our culture and has so much money, uh, so much support from the wicked, uh, that uh, to do so was, for, for David to do this, was a great risk. And, in fact, uh, though his exposés uh, have been followed by people throughout the United States and throughout the world. And though investigations have been launched both by the U.S. House of Representatives and the Senate, uh, in which, which translated into criminal referrals to attorney generals and district attorneys throughout the United States, uh, here in California, where David is from and where the Center for Medical Progress is located and headquartered, uh, he has received brutal persecution uh, from our Attorney General. Uh, this was Kamala Harris, who directed the FBI to raid his apartment in Orange County and to take his um, computers, which he's never received back. And then he uh, was sued by Planned Parenthood uh, for uh, millions of dollars. And for the last six weeks, he's been defending himself. He has an incredible legal team. David has been defending himself today, sadly, uh, injustice, uh, without surprise, injustice have, has been uh, foisted upon him and upon our country. And he was declared guilty of numerous crimes and has been asked to pay uh, more than $2 million uh, in penalties. This is a grotesque injustice. I say it's not a surprising one because the judge, William Oreck III, um, is deeply prejudiced in favor of abortion. He was asked to recuse himself. He refused, even though he has been deeply involved uh, in supporting and promoting abortion, including abortion facilities uh, in the Bay Area. Nevertheless, he uh, refused and he um, oversaw a, a very prejudicial and unfair uh, hearings. David is a true... Uh, uh, a true man of courage, a Mac of being valor, is what David Delighton is. And I deeply revere him and respect him and pray for him. I pray for him every day, and I'm asking you to pray for him. Uh, he will now appeal. Uh, there are courts of appeal, thank God, and he will appeal with his legal team. Uh, and it's time also for us to appeal, not to the court of men, but to the court of heaven asking that the Lord God would look upon this travesty and reverse it and bring an end to this uh, con continual reign of uh, abortion in our country. You know that uh, abortion is being shoved down our throats. We are being forced to pay for it. Um, no, let, no land can live uh, peaceably with the legal sanction of murder of the unborn. It's simply impossible. Mother Teresa is very beautifully, has very beautifully spoken to the most powerful in our land uh, about the fact that no nation can solve its violence problem and its crime problem if it sanctions 
the worst violence and the worst crime that is possible, which is the murder of an unborn child by its own mother in the womb, the place where a child uh, needs and must have the greatest level of protection. So I'm asking you to please pray for David Delayden and for his other co-defendants, Sandra Merritt and others. Uh, please pray for his defense team. Please pray for wisdom. Please pray that God would guide him in a straight line, in a path uh, that would lead to justice. Please pray that David would be able to be encouraged and not discouraged. He is, uh, has a tremendous spirit of long-suffering and uh, of hopefulness and optimism. Uh, but this certainly must have been a very sad, sad day for him, as it is for all God lovers, all people who respect morality and justice and believe in the defense of the innocent across our name. Shame, shame, and a thousand shames upon Judge William Oreck, who will have to account for his grotesque injustice before the court of heaven, which considers the uh, immoral rulings of uh, fallen man to be ashes that will blow away at the winds of the second coming. Please pray for him. And if you yourself have uh, not been following this, it's time to follow this and go on to, and, uh, onto the internet and research the Center for Medical Progress and find out about there. There you'll find descriptions uh, each day of, of for the last six weeks of this trial. You can also go on to the uh, Art, the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of San Francisco site there. They've been documenting this to the uh, deeply respected uh, Archbishop Salvatore Cordileone of San Francisco, uh, which is where the trial is being held. If you haven't gone in public uh, ever to raise your voice against this great injustice, now is the time to do that. Uh, you can come to the West Coast Walk for Life, which is on January 25th, and join 50,000 others. Maybe we'll have a lot more this year uh, as a sign of uh, raising our voices against this great uh, injustice which has taken place in San Francisco. Uh, or maybe go down to your own local abortion mill where the innocent are being killed day in and day out, and there uh, raise your voice to God and pray and beg and kneel and cry. And ask the Lord God to please bring this, this massacre that has taken the lives of more than 50 million children in our own country, uh, let alone the numbers that we, uh, have pro where we have propagated abortion across the world. Uh, may God have mercy upon us. May he forgive us our sins. And may he return us to ourselves. May we find our hearts again. God bless David Delayden and give him victory. Thank you for watching this video. Do you know that PNP is recording the lives of the saints for every day of the year? It's a massive project and we're halfway done and we need donors to help us complete the project. Would you consider making a donation on our website today? Thank you and God be with you.